So when you start an ATM business, aside from when you get all your paperwork done, you get your LLC, you get your business bank account open, you get your ATM, your vendor, you get all that stuff already situated, you already know where you're gonna buy and everything. The most important part in this whole business is location. Base putting, where are you gonna put your ATM, right? Location, location, location. This is going to very well mean if you're gonna be making three, four, five hundred dollars per location per ATM or 50, 100, maybe $150 a month per location. All right, guys, that's what this video, what we're gonna be talking about. We're gonna be talking about locations, which places are the best places to put them in. I'm gonna walk you through on how I uh, find my locations and then of course how I move forward with those this is going to be a part a two-step video the first one which is going to be this video we're going to be talking about how to find locations how to narrow them down and then after that once we start finding our locations we're going to start either calling walking in and then on the second video I'm going to show you how I talk to them, right? Whether it's gonna be over the phone, where it's gonna be in person, where it's gonna be email, whatever. I'm gonna be explaining to you what you should say, how you should say it. If you guys are brand new to this channel, I got a, a whole course, full step-by-step -step course from A to Z on here. Subscribe, it's in the play playlist so you can get notified on every little detail here. But let's go ahead and get into this video. So in finding locations, right? the best places to put them in. What are the best places to put them in? So first of all, you wanna put them in places that have businesses that have cash only, right? Obviously, those businesses operate in, with only cash, so of course an ATM makes sense where they're gonna be using it frequently. Another place is going to be if you have high foot traffic, people that come in and out, there's a bunch of people that come and pass by that ATM, it's gonna get used, right? Those are the good and best places you're gonna be um, you're gonna be searching for locations, okay? So a couple places that I've done, that I've put them in, that I've experimented is you wanna put them in barbershops, okay? Barbershops, especially if they're cash-only barbershops, are gonna do really well. You wanna put them in convenience stores, right? Gas stations, convenience stores, even if they don't sell gas. That's a high foot traffic uh, area where people are coming in and out, whether they get some gas, to get some candy, Cokes, whatever, people are always gonna need money, right? That's a good place as well. You wanna put them in dispensaries, right? Marijuana dispensaries, that's always also a really good place because a lot of those places do operate only in cash only places. And of course, it's getting, it's becoming more popular and more um, frequent um, every time, um, pretty much day to day, okay? Best places. Also, nail salons, you wanna put them in, if you can get them in a strip club, obviously that is pretty much like the gold mine, right? That is where our goal is, that's where you're gonna be making your money. So of course, if you try to get them in strip clubs, also in one of those places, all right guys? Those are basically the best places that you wanna put them in um, to have high traffic, cash only, to be making decent good money per ATM. Um, every month, all right, guys? So let's go ahead and jump into this computer right here. I'm gonna show you how I look for them. There's two ways that I generally do it. I could either um, call people, right? Be at my home calling people. There's all pros and cons. Or I could actually walk in to that business and talk to the owner straight in, right? There's pros and cons on both of these. The first one is going to be um, at home calling on the phone, okay? I do this a lot more because for one, I could actually call and go through a lot more businesses quicker than if I was actually to drive to every business, getting in and out, wasting more time, right? So that is a pro on calling people. The con or the bad way on the whole calling people on over the phone is that business owner doesn't really know how you look like, they can't get your vibe, they don't see that you're gonna be a good fit, right? You don't really connect with him over the phone, all right? But of course, you can actually run through a lot more businesses and um, get some more information. Now, if you actually go and walk into a business, which is number two, right? Of course, it's gonna take a lot more time because you're gonna have to get in your car, get in the business, walk in, speak, whatever, go out, go to the next one, right? So you actually do not cover as much um, ground or much businesses compared to the phone but over here on this side you could actually talk to the owner right you could speak with him one-on-one -on -one. you can actually grab his vibe he can grab you see how you are maybe you guys have a good fit he he kind of sees you he understands you you could actually bring some information where he could physically see right those are two ways 
I've been having a lot more success over the phone because I can actually do a lot more traffic. A lot of these actual businesses, they either have ATMs, they don't want to deal with that, and they just kind of hang up. That's just pretty much the name of the game, rejection, okay? So I like to do it. That's what I'm gonna, what's what we're gonna talk about in this video here. How I find businesses in my local area and I basically call them up, all right guys? So let's go ahead and do that. Jump into this computer. So first place that I like to go to is going to be a couple places. I like to go to Yelp, yelp.com, okay? Pretty much is this where you can actually pick up businesses. The next one is gonna be Google. So I'm just gonna open up all these window screens and the sec second one's gonna be Facebook, okay? And I'll explain to you right now in a second. So let's go ahead and pick a uh, barbershop. So I have here that I already have some barbershop. Let's go ahead, let's go, um, for this example, we're going to be narrate or we're gonna be targeting barbershops, okay? So we're gonna be calling up barbershops and what I like to do is I like to keep myself organized where I like to, on I have a little notebook here and I put, and I basically put, I call all these barbershops here, okay? I have them organized where I call these barbershops. I call these convenience stores. I call these nail salons. I call these night bars. And I keep myself all organized so I know who I called, who I haven't, which businesses are brand new, which I haven't called, all right? So let's go ahead and go barbershops. And I'm going to go, of course, in my hometown, which is in El Paso, Texas. It's going to bring up some couple barbershops in this area. And I like to target myself in sections, okay? So I like to start off on the east side. Kind of east side, and then I kind of work my way um towards the west side i live on the east side so it's a lot easier for me to refill them you know go get some more traffic or go close go faster when i do my refills instead of going to one atm that's all the way on the west side and then coming all the way back down so let's say i want to target some barber shops here it looks like let's go ahead and redo this search see if we can get some more right. shops in this area so it looks like we got a couple more what i'm looking for I'm looking for, I look at pictures. I look at their descriptions to see if they are cash only, okay? Of course, again, we wanna see if they're cash only. If we are, definitely wanna hit those up. If they have a lot of traffic, if they're new to the area, whatever the case is, okay? So let's go ahead and go with this Dynasty Barbershop Studio. What I do is I write down my, you know, the information, the number, all that stuff. Right now they're closed, but what I do is since they're closed, I like to look at their pictures. I go through their pictures to see if I could see an ATM in the background. Here, I don't, bunch of, uh, a bunch of uh, haircuts here. I don't see any of that. I go down to their description and I see if they accept credit cards, okay? They're a cash only. Uh, I don't see anything like that. Let's see, haircuts, Monday through Friday. So I don't have any of that, right, okay? They are close, so I'm not going to be able to call them. Let's go ahead and go on to the next one. I am still going to write them down. Let's go to, uh, let's just pick this one. This one looks, this one looks like an old style one. So East Side Barbershops, okay? Got eight photos, but it looks like, okay? So look, check this out. This one accepts credit cards. They do not accept credit cards. So this is probably a cash only barbershop, okay? Um, this is one that I'm definitely wanna hit if I was in the market. And I'm basically, so I'm looking at the outside, I'm looking at pictures, and again, I'm looking at to see, in barbershops, I'm looking to see how many chairs, how many barbershop chairs they have, right? The more chairs they have, the more, that means that they have more traffic, more people coming in, right? I'm looking in the background to see if I see any uh, ATMs, right? I'm looking at the employees to see how they look like, stuff like that. Let's say I do wanna actually check out this one. I wanna check out the East Side Barbershop. Of course, I'm gonna write them down. I'm gonna call them up. But what I'm also gonna do is, I'm also going to look them up on Google. East Side Barbershop in El Paso, right? Maybe they have some different pictures. Maybe they have different uh, reviews on here. So let's see. So a couple of haircuts. Haircuts looks like they don't really have a lot of pictures here. Okay, so guess what I'm gonna do now? Now, I'm gonna take that same one and I'm gonna go into Facebook. Maybe they post, because maybe this business, they post a lot more on Facebook, right? So they probably post a lot more pictures on Facebook than on the reviews, than on somewhere else. Let's see. So look, they do have some different pictures here. Not as much, but I'm just kind of seeing if they have any, nope. 
So this is also a good one too. So right here in the front, usually if they say ATM inside, ATM available, I know that they have an ATM in there. They don't have that. So this is actually a good uh, one to call. So I would actually call them, right? In part two, in next in the part two video, I'm gonna show you exactly what to tell them or what to say when you speak to these business owners. But this is how I find my uh, ATMs, right? I go down the line, let's go ahead. And so that's one, I would write that down. I would call them up. Uh, let's look at another one. So what is this? Fortune Glory Barbershop. So it opens in 25. Looks like there's only four photos in here. And again, I'm just looking to see. So there's not a lot more, not a lot of information, a lot of detail. Looks like it is a little slow. So no ATM in the background. Let's see. So I pretty much kind of take this whole, oops, let's see kind of go down again mask so they do accept credit cards that's not a huge thing for me right because again when you start talking to the business owner if they do accept credit cards you can even actually tell them that you can give them an incentive since you're going to be paying uh the owner uh some cash they could actually take a discount so the customers could be more enticed or more uh willing to take cash out of the atm right it's a win-win situation the customer gets a discount you make a transaction you make a sale owner makes more money, right? Because there's more transactions. So again, I would probably go into uh, Google here. Fortune and Glory, right? Glory Barbershop. Is that what it was called? Yeah. Uh, let's see. So different pictures. Let's see. And this is how I look at it, right? You just kind of have to run through it. It doesn't take a lot of time for you to kind of run through different websites. So check it out. So now I'm getting pictures on the inside, which is what I want. I want to see if I can see an ATM, right? If I can see anything going on, okay? Let's see. So just haircuts, haircuts. Again, I'm looking in the background. No ATM. I'm looking to see if they have the front window that shows ATM. Nothing going on. But I'm starting to get more pictures. I'm starting to get a bigger vibe to see how many chairs. If there's one or two, three chairs, or maybe ten. Okay, so it looks like it's an outside. It looks like we have a little, and this is also a good one too, because people go and get their haircuts. It looks like there's like a little restaurant, a little bar there. You know, they can use some money. Definitely another one that I want to call and kind of see. So of course I'll write them down and I'll go on to the next one. And again, I would probably look into Facebook. This is how I actually search for my locations, okay? So pretty simple, pretty fast. Again, I like to do it over the phone because I can cover more ground. I can go through more businesses quicker, faster. And then once I get them on the phone, if they are interested, I could actually go and shoot over, talk with the business owner, right? Because a lot of them like to see face-to-face. -face. They have a business and they want to make sure that you are legit, right? That you're not just some teenager or some 10-year-old that's just trying to make a quick dollar this is an actual business right so in the next video i'm going to show you what to bring what i bring with me when i go meet business owners um what to say over the phone how to talk to them and of course how to negotiate and all that stuff but this is how you find locations in your area again you want to look for places that have a lot of traffic they're dense the, the cities you want to see they have cash only locations those are the best ones okay and you just kind of keep on going as you keep on going into this business you're going to start realizing and seeing in your area okay you know what my best locations are in nightclubs right in bars or they're in dispensaries or maybe i make a lot more money in my convenience stores that's where i'm going to target but keep yourself organized in your notebook you have have a little notebook and keep yourself organized right these are the locations. These guys call me back. These are good. This is where I install them and so forth. All right, guys. If you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. I got a, a full uh, course on here that's going to be coming out in the next couple months. And you can see in every little detail what I talk about. This is one of my paid courses, and I do have this for free for you guys here. So go ahead and follow and go to part two so you can see how I talk to all these owners. And then, of course, what I bring. And we'll go on from there.